We were told that we were okay every step of the way, and we were not. An uncertain future for students at Eastern Gateway as the college puts class registration on pause. And we followed this story last night as breaking news. And new tonight, students are expressing their concerns and college leaders are explaining their decision. First News Weekend Morning anchor Samantha Bender joins us live from Eastern Gateway with the very latest. Sam. Lindsay, Dave, good evening. There's one common theme I'm finding when I'm talking with people regarding this decision and it's fear. Students are fearful of what this means for the future of the college and their education. In fact, one student I spoke with today tells me she was sick to her stomach when she learned the news. Now college officials are explaining what's next. Take a listen. In a unanimous vote during a special meeting Wednesday, Eastern Gateway trustees approved the decision to pause enrollment at the college beyond the spring semester. The pause is because of cash flow issue. It's related to the conditions that uh, the controlling board of the state of Ohio placed where we had to work with the Ohio Department of Higher Education. Interim President Dr. John Crooks says they're compiling options for students, which includes working with Youngstown State and other area colleges to help students find the best pathway to continue their education. This news coming as a shock to nursing student Asia May. We needed to be communicated with and we needed to know that we were protected and that our education was valued and that we were valued to the school. And I don't think that was communicated to us. While she's slated to graduate this spring, she's fearful of what this means for younger students who now have to scramble to try to transfer their credits. We don't know, you know, what this university or this college is going to say this credit is worth to them. In a joint statement Thursday from the Ohio Education Association and the Eastern Gateway Community College Education Association, it reads, quote, as both students and staff now scramble to understand what this pause actually means for them long term, EGCCEA and OEA are urging greater transparency about the board's big picture plans for the college. A statement from Eastern Gateway Education Association President Jim Corrin went on to read, quote, we need answers from the board about whether our positions will continue to exist after the spring semester, how long this pause in enrollment may last, and whether there will eventually be a college to return to here. Dr. Crooks acknowledging they are looking at layoffs to help mitigate some of their financial issues, though full-time faculty would not be impacted. That number could get as high, and we have talked about as high as 40 individuals. But as for what's next... We need to work effectively with the Ohio Department of Higher Education, Youngstown State University, and try to make the best determination moving forward for our students. Dr. Crooks tells me these layoffs could happen as early as the end of the month or early March. Now, there were also rumors that there wouldn't be a graduation ceremony this spring. Dr. Crooks is clearing that up tonight. He says their plan is to finish the spring semester strong and hold a commencement ceremony, most likely on June 1st. We've put a list of area colleges that are accepting Eastern Gateway students over on our website, as well as a link to the Ohio Department of Higher Education website, which is constantly being updated with the latest information. Reporting live from Eastern Gateway, Samantha Bender, WKBN 27 First News. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.